covering Southeast Georgia and the Low Country. This is WJCL 22 Morning News. See us now. It was now. like a crunch. I heard the crunch. It just felt like I said a bear trap just crunching on my face. South Carolina man bitten in the face by a shark talks about those terrifying moments. Why he says he was so scared even after the shark was gone. Time is ticking to avoid a strike at the big three automakers. I'm Amy Lou in Washington with how the White House is responding. And we're tracking the drop in prices at the pump after Georgia's governor suspended the gas tax. We want to thank you so much for starting your Thursday with us right here on WJCL 22. Good morning. I'm Emma Hamilton. And I'm Frank Solkowski, meteorologist Jonathan Myers and Catherine Liberta joining us as well this morning. And guys, I tell you what, looking out there in the Atlantic, I, I like how Lee has diverted as well away from us. Yeah, John. Mm -hmm. yeah. Unfortunately, Frank is headed up to uh, uh, the New England area. Northeast states are going to see probably maybe tropical storm conditions at least. Uh, by the upcoming weekend. Very unusual for the folks across New England to see tropical system where some of those areas are in a tropical storm watches. Also Bermuda being impacted today from Lee. And there is Margo and also another area uh, between the Leeward Islands and Africa. Large area showers and storms. This area is on its way probably to come a tropical depression very soon, either today or uh, by uh, the end of the week. Hurricane Lee winds right now 100 miles per hour. It just missed Bermuda today. And like I said, headed up toward the uh, northeast states. Maine, Massachusetts, even places like uh, uh, New Hampshire will be impacted by this. Also, Nova Scotia uh, with tropical storm conditions this weekend. As for us today, very quiet outside. It is nice. We're seeing once the sun rises, we'll see mostly sunny skies this morning. 85 degrees at lunchtime. Most of the showers and storms today will be after school and also into the evening. Could have some heavy downpours at times with some of those thunderstorms today. And then you can see the showers over the coastal waters as we start things off. So umbrella needed at times today. A few showers also also possible for tomorrow as we wrap up the work week. I'll look ahead to the weekend and also tracking up the tropics in less than 10 minutes. The scariest thing I've probably ever been through in my life. I've been in bad car accidents and nothing like this. New this morning, a South Carolina man opening up after he was bitten in the face by a shark while surfing. Now, we've told you about this terrifying incident that happened down the coast, New Smyrna Beach, Florida, earlier this week. Mark Somerset told our sister station he thinks his gold chain got caught in the shark's eye. Yeah, he says that he's thankful that the shark quickly let him go. I jumped on my board, paddled in. I thought that sucker was going to come back for me. I thought he was because I was bleeding so bad. Somerset says that he got about 20 stitches for the large gash on his face. In just hours now, convicted murderer Alec Murdoch will be in court in Beaufort County. Two men who were convicted of helping him steal millions of dollars will also appear. Murdoch, former attorney Corey Fleming, and former banker Russell Lafitte will all appear today. Fleming will be sentenced after he pleaded guilty to nearly two dozen counts. And a judge will decide what's next in other cases involving Murdoch and Lafitte. Well, right now, Beaufort County deputies are looking for this man wanted for attempted murder. They say Andre Green was identified as the person who shot a man in Sheldon back on Monday. If you see him, please call the sheriff's office. Well, the driver who is serving time in prison after driving into a crowd of uh, parade goers in Rinkin wants a new trial. Anthony Rodriguez was convicted to 10 years in prison just last month. Now, this all happened during the Freedom Rings Parade last year, but the defense claims there wasn't enough evidence to convict. They also say they were unable to present testimony from an expert witness. The Brinken Police Department honored Army Post Officer Ian Gallagher for helping put an end to the parade attack. He received the Medal of Valor during a banquet held last night. Right now, several Americans are trapped on board a cruise ship that's stranded off the coast of Greenland. The Ocean Explorer ran aground with more than 200 people on board. Authorities say a Danish naval ship is heading to rescue them and is expected to arrive today. A passenger says that the crew lowered lifeboats, the anchor, and emptied water to try and lighten its load. Well, happening today, 100,000 auto workers say they're ready to go on strike. The deadline to reach a deal expiring tonight. Our Amy Liu reporting from Washington, where officials keeping a close eye on these negotiations. 
Well, President Biden spoke with the head of United Auto Workers and the leaders of the big three, encouraging all parties to keep negotiating. Talks are ongoing, but the UAW president said Wednesday night the union is ready to strike as the latest offers from Ford, General Motors, and Stellantis, which makes Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, Ram, Alfa Romeo, Fiat, and Maserati don't meet their demands. The big three say they're trying to balance rising labor costs with the expense of upgrading their facilities as the market transitions from fossil fuels to electric. Analysts predicting a strike could cost the economy billions of dollars as inflation data shows new and used car prices are just starting to come down from their pandemic era highs. We are asked by the president to track any development in the domestic and global economy uh, that's going to have an impact or that might have an impact. And, you know, there's a long list of things that uh, 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 fit that description. Uh, so we're, we're tracking this carefully. And if no agreement is reached, the strike would start at a limited number of each company's plans. But the possibility remains all 146,000 members could walk off the job tomorrow. In Washington, I'm Amy Liu. New this morning, we're tracking the drop in gas prices after Georgia Governor Brian Kemp suspended the gas tax. The suspension went into effect at midnight. This morning, the average price for a gallon of gas in Georgia around 340 that's down about eight cents from yesterday. Kemp says the tax suspension should drop prices at the pump by more than 30 cents. It will expire on October 12th. Meanwhile, in South Carolina, gas around 344 a gallon, which is almost exactly the same as it was this time last week. On well, this morning, a federal judge has ruled the policy that protects hundreds of thousands of immigrants from being deported is illegal. Nine states, including South Carolina, filed a lawsuit to stop the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, or better known as the DACA program. The judge refused to order an immediate end to the program and the protections that it offers. This morning, a convicted murderer who escaped prison is back in prison after being on the run for two weeks. We brought you this story as breaking news yesterday. Authorities captured Danilo Cavacante after he broke out by crab walking up the prison's walls. You can see him right there. The convicted killer was spotted multiple times since his escape. Investigator, investigating officers got so close to finding him during their search, they almost stepped on him multiple times. Our nightmare is finally over and the good guys won. Cavacante is serving life in prison for murdering his girlfriend. New this morning, South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham giving us more information about the evidence that sparked an impeachment inquiry into President Joe Biden. You don't know, have you seen any hard evidence of wrongdoing well, seen, by Biden? I've seen $20 million apparently flowing to the Biden family through shell corporations. I haven't seen any direct evidence that President Biden himself benefited from it. House Republicans, including South Carolina Congresswoman Nancy May, may say the inquiry will allow them to access Biden's bank records. Well, happening today, First Lady Dr. Jill Biden coming to Georgia. She's set to speak at a political event for the Biden Victory Fund today in Atlanta. Tomorrow, she'll visit Emory University to talk about the launch of technology that would train immune systems to fight cancer and other diseases. Your traffic track 22 this morning. If you are headed from Statesboro to Savannah, just about a 54 minute drive this morning headed eastbound on I-16. No problems to report there. And as we look a little bit closer as you get towards downtown, we can see Pooler to downtown this morning. Just about a 10 minute drive. No problems or accidents to report there on I-16 and no problems or accidents across the area. As we take a live look right now out at US 280 at Main Street in Pembroke, a couple of folks out there uh, getting an early start to their Thursday. Traffic is moving well. And if you want to take a live look at traffic at any time of the day, you can go to our website, wjcl.com slash traffic for all the latest updates. All, all right. right. Thanks so much, Catherine. Yeah, time check right now. It is 609. Officers shocked after they find two bodies miles apart in just one day. Coming out the lead that they're following in one case and the mystery surrounding a body found in the trunk of a car. Plus, check out this interstate covered in frozen chickens after a crash in Atlanta. The widespread damage that was left behind. 
Hardyville is where we're looking live this morning. Not a bad start, mostly clear, a little patchy fog in a few areas, temperature at 72. I'll detail today's forecast, tracking out the chances of rain later this afternoon and evening, and also tracking the tropics after the break to keep up with that certified most accurate forecast today. Just download our WJCL 22 News app. Your news, weather, and Savannah's classic hits from the 80s and more on Rewind 1079.